We have with us today the most fresh and sweet news from the Korea bio industry. My name is Juri Hwang and I will be delivering some of Korea's hottest biotech issues today for you. And don't forget to subscribe BioTV. Microbio big data platform company Chunlab has launched a new cloud-based COVID-19 analysis platform Easy COVID-19. With its own technology, it can also be used in countries, research institutes, hospitals, and clinics that do not have the infrastructure for biomedical scientists or unable to conduct epidemiological investigations. If you have NGS data of viruses collected directly from separated strains or COVID-19 patients, you can quickly check the results of comparison and analysis with global data. This means that if you enter COVID-19 virus genomic data anywhere in the world, you can check the analysis results in just 10 minutes. With the current global trend of COVID-19, governments are spending huge amounts of money and time monitoring the mutations of the virus, and the demand for bioinformation analysis is increasing. Recent research suggests that the new COVID-19 can mutate once every 12 days, and it is expected to take a considerable amount of time until the virus is over, further highlighting the importance of tracking mutations. Chun Lab, which operates Easy Bio Cloud, the world's only cloud-based system with the world's largest users of bacterial diagnosis will be the first in the world to establish a platform that can quickly analyze NGS data and conduct epidemiological surveys in line with such global demand. The analysis results consist of information that can identify molecular electrochemical characteristics such as mutations in viruses and patterns of evolution compared to tens of thousands of new COVID-19 genome-produced around the world. Because mutations analysis can be carried out very quickly, continuous mutations analysis can help predict future strains and develop diagnostic kits, vaccines, treatments for variants. In particular, predictions of changes and evolution of the new COVID-19 are expected to be used to develop antiviral drugs that prevent the virus from replicating, such as Remdesivir and Avigan, and to develop gene vaccines targeting RBD as it is possible to analyze changes in the receptor binding domain of spike protein, which is a region that combines with human cells. If easy COVID-19 analysis services become more common around the world, the evolution of data network AI-based systems will be accelerated and more precise analysis will be possible. It is expected that precise analysis will speed up the development of vaccines and treatments based on the analysis of the virus propagation path and variation, which will enable rapid response to the introduction of new infectious diseases. Anjin Bio Next Generation Sequencing Analysis Diagnostic Company has passed the technical performance evaluation, drawing closer to the threshold of COSTAC. According to investment industry sources, on the 14th, Anjin Bio received an A grade in both organizations that applied for a technical performance evaluation. In order to be listed as a technology exception, two technology evaluation agencies must give A and triple B grades or higher, respectively. The company plans to file a preliminary listing review with the Korea Exchange as soon as possible and enter the COSTAC within this year. Anjin Bio, which was established in 2015, started as KT's number one in-house venture. CEO Che De Chu, the founder of the company, started to enter the genome data analysis business while looking for KT's new business. After focusing on collecting and analyzing sequence data of genes by using computers and software, KT and Gene Curious invested and started diagnosing diseases such as cancer. And Gene Bio, which was approved as a genetic testing agency in 2016, obtained Gene GMP certification for region panels and analysis software in relation to NGS and received a third-class item license for genetic breast cancer and ovarian cancer NGS region panel from the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety in 2017. Angene Bio's NGS region panel can be expanded to include a variety of items including breast cancer, ovarian cancer, solid cancer, and blood cancer, as well as region panels for rare diseases. It has acquired CEIVD and is also pushing for overseas expansion with global companies. Anjin Bio, which has been consistently recognized for its growth potential in the investment market, attracted investment from pre-IPO last month. Kingo Investment Partners and IMM Investment participated in the procurement with about $4.17 million. 
Well, that's it for today's news. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and set your alarm. And we'll be back with the issues of the Korea bio industry in just two weeks.